Let's save earlier stream where I about died due to not having water. And I managed to uh, almost die from that. I got it made just in time to not die. And then I was in a cave and I about died with lack of oxygen, but I made it to the surface just as my screen was going black. It was almost full black. It was like fading out. It was like, I was like, oh God, I'm so done. And then I crusted the surface as my screen went black and I was like, is it going to give me credit? And I got credit and I didn't die. I was like, yes, it was great. So it was very cool. Oh yeah, speaking of which, I need to save. God, I need to remember to do that or else if something happens, I'm so boned. I'm usually not like super big on single player games. So this whole like needing to save your game periodically thing is, I got out of the habit of being like really on point with that. No, that's not a thing I can break. Nor is that. All right, where's my uh, 108 meters that way? Oh, I got a rebreather on. You know what? I might as well go down here and look around. Damn, this is deep. I got 32% power on this. What are those guys? Have I seen these fishies before? Dude, if you don't stop moving, I'm gonna freeze you in place. A spade fish. Alright, that's cool. Man, the rebreather is nice. I didn't get the warning for being un underneath 100. And uh, my oxygen isn't going like nuts. Take a peek around here. <laughs> Boss fight. No, that's be easy. No need to save. Yeah, that's usually when you get your ass beat. <laughs> hey, there's some uh, salt. I know what that looks like. There's more salt over there. How much inventory space do I have right now? Two more? Probably a drink of water and get another space. All right, we're gonna have to go up to the surface here very quickly because we don't have much time. Or at least I feel like I don't have a lot of time, but you never know. I thought it was pretty deep. Warning, under 100 meters depth, oxygen efficiently decreased. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You'll be able to type in a minute. It's a quick thing. Let's drink a water, give me a little bit more space and see uh, what else we got going on down here. What are these? Is this rocks that are just falling? That is crazy. Okay, so this, this is not only floating, but it is decomposing. Soon there will be no more floating islands. I feel like this is something that should be explored. Yeah, she doesn't give me the warning about the 100 meters anymore because I've got the rebreather on. And I got a blueprint for ultralight fins, but I don't know how to make those yet. Wow, okay, what the hell is all this shit? Damn, that's 245. We're going back up. I'm getting nervous. We're gonna have to come back here with something cool. Come back here with my sea moth and park it. And then go down from there. Hey, there's actually a thing right there. Is that a lagoon on the island that I can just pop up into? An underwater cave? What is this? Oh, I think this is where dude's PDA was that I found. Okay. Yeah, it's like over here on the beach. I didn't realize that that went underneath the thing. Okay. I see how this is. Oh shit, this guy's right here. Can't run away from me. I run faster. I got a knife. Come back here, you little bastard. Those guys don't normally haul ass like that. That was funny. Huh? All right. Is there any other cave? That's the same thing. Huh? What's this over here? Running with my knife in this game makes me have uh, flashbacks to the, the original Counter-Strike. <laughs> 
terrorists win. <laughs> oh shit, we must run off the edge. Where the hell is my submersible so I can get the hell out of here? Up this way, alright. Might be faster for me just to swim than try to poke around on land. But we could find something interesting here. Although I think I've already been over this whole damn planet. Or, this whole island. I have not been over the whole planet. Alright, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Alright, we do not need to see dude's beacon anymore. We can turn that off. Uh, where was Guy's thing here? The... Wait. It's this one. Good place to save. The propulsion cannon was made to throw those crabs around. Ah! Heck yes. Next time I find a crab, I'll get it out. Hey, I got the module on here now. That's right. How far can I go down before the thing gives me the warning about my hull integrity? Actually, you know what? We should probably, um... Oops. Actually, I didn't want that. I wanted my inventory, though. I need the repair tool. Alright, we can't see crap. We're going down. So, before, I could go to 200, but I got this module now, so I hopefully can go a little deeper. But I hate how, as soon as you hit the depth, you get um, the damage done to your ship, and then it gives you the warning that you're down too far. So yeah, this is cool. I'm already at 200. So, how much more can I eke out of this? What the hell is that? Look, that just looks a little weird. And something's chewing on my ship already. Look, Holmes. Get out of here. I need to go deeper. Where's... Man. I tell you. You just trying to do something? You want to test something out? And the fish want to... Whoa. That looks... That looks interesting. What is that? We're at 250. No warnings. No durability loss. It looks like there's little fans or ductworks right there. And it's the alien colors, I think. Look, dude. Where's my knife? Alien vent. Oh shit, a time capsule. Fingers crossed, here goes nothing. What is in that time capsule? I should drink some water. And probably eat a fish. Why not? What was in the time capsule? If you get this and I've either successfully managed to escape this fascinating place or I've been blasted in the bits trying to launch. Either way, it's been an adventure. I leave behind my most used items in order to help the finder in their endeavors. The pick was supposed to be a selfie as we call it back home, Durham, UK, Earth, but missed my head by a mile. If you escape, send a message and let me know if my gear was also useful for you. Good luck, Andy. What the, was my inventory too full to get the gear? That's kind of dumb. I should like just drop on the ground down there. Unless that's what happened. I just totally didn't see it happen. Warning. Maximum depth oh shit, 300. Okay, so I can go 300 now. And it puts it in big yellow numbers up there. We're gonna check and make sure that it just didn't drop on the ground. I don't think it does that though. I think it just goes away, which is really shitty. My inventory is full, just drop it on the ground, whatever we're trying to pick up. Yeah, I don't see anything in here. The, la the first 
time capsule I found gave me the um, the stasis rifle, which was really cool because I didn't have to make it. I'm so glad I made this rebreather. The fact that I can be down here this this low and not have my oxygen just go into shit is awesome. All right. So we gotta stay under 300. Power cell charger fragment. Ho oh, ho. Oh. Give me this. Whatever this does. There's one more of those to find. Sandstone thing. I'll take that. What's attacking me? Stupid little fish. Is that all I wanted out of here? Do I play Fortnite? I tried Fortnite for a little bit, and nope. I'd rather play the, um... If I'm gonna load up a FPS, that's, um... Pretty much Last Man Standing kind of deal. I'm gonna play the other one that I've got installed, but I haven't played in a long time. Um... Oh my goodness. My brain is not doing a good job at remembering. Uh... Starts with an A, I believe too many games on my computer but yeah you won't see me streaming Fortnite here ever <laughs> I just couldn't get into it and I don't know why I can't remember right now what the other game is that I've played it's probably been a few months since I played it though I've got some buddies to play it so I went in there with them special equipment okay what where's the uh my stasis rifle. It's still online. Who is banging around on my ship still? Apex, thank you, DJ. I could not remember for the life of me. Apex Legends, yes. That looks like it's one of those creature eggs. Do I have space for it? I'll put it in my alien box. If it's not a big... Oh, wait, no, this is a gel sack. A gel sack? Oh, it's the bleeder thing. Get off my wrist, you little rat bastard. You too. Get out of here. So, I gotta read about gel sacks, because apparently that's a thing. Is this another gel sack? My inventory is full. Well, we should make some damn room. Eat that. Or drink that, not eat that. What is this? And that's just Mr. Peeper right there. What? Did I not scan Peeper before? Oh, there's a danger noodle in there. That's what's randomly hitting me from time to time. Alright, I see your ass. What's this blue thing? Oh, creature eggs. There is a creature egg down here. Okay. Well, no. We gotta read about gel sacks. It's actually a food source? I should probably move my ship, because now I know what has been hitting my ship. Oh, well, besides that guy. He can't even damage my ship? That's awesome. I wonder what these air vents are for. I'm gonna have to like look around in this cavern some more. But let me read about the gel sacks real quick. So you haven't you have thought about it since season three, or you haven't thought about it since season three? I told you I haven't played Apex in months. It's probably been two or three months. Spadefish is here. All right, it's edible. Cool. Keep that in mind. Eye stalks. Cave dwelling tuber dotted with luminescent photosensitive eyes. Okay.
where is the is that up here at the top no that's habitat stuff alien data scan data alien vent we can read about this uh, ancient piping network inflow brings it let's see warm deoxidated water is being expelled into the atmosphere most creatures avoid the vents peepers can be observed entering and exiting the pipe network without signs of distress further research is required okay gotta get those marks off of there and then where's the eyeballs hmm Lots of coral. It's not a carnival. Leviathans are in here. Huh. I guess it doesn't have an entry for the jail sacks, but I thought it did. Did I just miss it? We should probably go check out this life pod 12. You watched a, uh, oh, MST sense. I'll see you around. Didn't know you had to go. Hopefully you're still around to hear me say bye. And then DJ, you watched a couple of streams. Looks good. Maybe a little cheese, but looks fun. You know, Peaches is, is Peaches and Ninja were playing. Um, and when I say Ninja, I'm talking about Ninja Jesus, not Ninja, like famous Twitch dude. Uh, but Peaches and Ninja were playing a lot of Apex, and I would tag in with them. And that way I wasn't in like some random pickup group with who knows what, bunch of randoms. Uh, do I need anything else right now? I can probably eat. Hey! Oh, I got a thermo blade out of that! That's what I got out of that time capsule. Oh, snap, so I can now instantly kill fish and eat them, because they'll be cooked already. Dope! I did not realize that I would... Ha ha ha, we got a thermal blade. That's so cool. All right, we got stuff on the side of the wall that I have not seen before. I don't know what that is. A ruby. And of course, right now, my inventory is full, but we might have to start chucking some stuff. Uh, like the salt. Bye-bye, salt. I can get salt in other places. All right, can we get this? Yes, we can. And what's this? Quartz? Yeah, I'll take a quartz. I can drop that later, too, if I get full. Hey, there's more of these gel sack things. They're always by these eyeballs. Yeah, did I not scan this properly the first time? Oh, that's why I couldn't find the damn data entry. Uh, we have enough oxygen. We can read this, I suppose. Gel sack! Aerogel construction applications. Now I know how to make aerogel. Awesome. How do I pick this up? Thank you. Give me that. Oh, I don't want that. Alright, back into the ship. There's probably another eyeball thing to pick up down there, too. I gotta sort my inventory. Welcome aboard, Captain. What do you mean, Peaches is a trigger group for you? Like. You talking like triggered, like emotionally triggered, or are you talking like. Something else. We have, what, one more filtered water? Nah, yep, okay, we'll do that. <laughs> it's just like, lol. Yeah, I don't understand. Okay, so let's go down there and see if we can get one more gel sack. If there is one to be found, or if I'm just getting one at a time. I think there was two. I stocks, I stocks, gel sack. There we go. So there's two. What is that? That's just a uh, part of the I stock. Okay. Learning all about weird stuff haven't seen before. All right. There's my ship. Always got to remember where the ship is because that's where the oxygen is. And there's still stuff hanging on the side of this wall. What is this? Quartz. 
inventory is full. All right, I think it's time to head back to the to the base and drop some shit off. That's what I think. All right, that was the floating island space. Let's get out of this cavern. That was a pretty cool cavern. I think that's the deepest I've been this game. It is definitely the deepest I've been. And there we go. We need to go. We need to go there. Oh, and there's the life pod 12. Sunk to the ocean bed, 2200 meters. Out. We'll stop off at my pod and then we'll unload and then we'll go check out the uh, life pod 12 and see what's happened to them. I need like an auto, an automatic forward thing here. Like I just wish I could lock my W key. This game looks chill though. Is it multiplayer? This game is single player. Yeah, that's what I was saying about earlier. Like this whole like needing to remember to save my game. I'm not used to it because I'm used to multiplayer and there is no saving in multiplayer. You know, the server saves for you. But uh, yeah, you can do like I did. I put this on my Steam wish list and wait, waited for it to go on sale. Hey, MST Sense, welcome back. I don't know if you heard me say bye to you earlier. Um, I was like a minute behind or two minutes behind, so apologies if I didn't react quickly enough. But yeah, this, this is a single player game. But hey man, if you're enjoying it, nothing wrong with playing a single player game. I think the last single player game I played um, that was strictly single player was Doom 3 when it came out. And that's, that's saying something. Yeah, we are so full right now because we picked up all them damn plants. But that's a good thing we picked up the plants because we're going to plant the plants. We're gonna have our base be super awesome. You still play Shadow Run? Wow. Oh, we need to park this in the moon bay now, so it charges up a little bit. Totally loving that that's a thing. And it automatically parks you. Check this out. Well, when you get a little closer. <laughs> I need to like put a door in right here. I think I'm gonna have to do that. A little vault door. So when it ejects me like this, I can just be like, bam. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, rule number one. Let's get our planters going. So. We've got uh, Chinese potato. Actually, I want this whole plot to be melon, so we'll put that there. New blueprint, new swim charge. Acquired. Swim charge. How did I get a new blueprint just for putting marble melon in a plot? I don't understand that, but okay. All right, let's put... Oh, it just gave it to me. Wirelessly charges your held tool while you swim. What? That's cool. Oh, you know what? Maybe that came from the time capsule. My inventory is emptying, so it's putting in things that I didn't get. That is what is probably happening. All right, we'll put these other two things in here. And uh, so that dude gave me a heated knife in the time capsule. I got a thermal blade, which I need to start using this and put the other knife in the um, box. And then I got swim charge fence. So this is 15% swim, and these are just, I don't know. But this wirelessly charging my tool, I'm gonna go with that that right there. Where did I get the planner thing? Um, also from the same island. The observatorium has the planters. Have a good night, it's about sleep time for you. All right, DJ, take care, good sir. You must work thirds. You work in third shift? You missed a whole bunch of stuff on that island. You need to go back there. <laughs> All right, we got gel sacks now, which I don't know really what I'm doing with. Uh, you know what, we're just gonna put them in here. This is not really my minerals box anymore. This is like my supplement uh, crafting stuff. So let's put gel sacks in there. And 
Um, we got equipment here. Put my old knife in here in case something happens. You work from time to time? Yeah, it's pretty good policy or else you won't have any money. <laughs> it's a good thing to have money. All right, and then we've got some minerals, quartz, lead, gold, rubies. So we've got rubies for the first time. Uh, oh, I can put those fins away. Equipment, old fins, there we go. Sea glide, stasis rifle, propulsion cannon. Hey, wirelessly ch charged held tool. If I'm using my sea glide, will it charge that? That would kind of make sense. What is something nobody in the world will be doing right now? Nobody in the world? That would be really hard to think of. If we're talking about things that people can do currently. I could say that nobody is uh, flying without a jetpack. <laughs> something that nobody in the world is doing right now. People are dying, people are being born. I mean, that's a tough one. Oh, and the laws of physics standing still. No one would be standing still. Well, my answer is right, too. Technically, no one's ever perfectly still. Atoms are moving constantly. <laughs> so how do you figure sleep? Because everything's always in motion? So your riddle has more than one answer. All right, thermal blade. We got laser cutter, repair tool, scanner. My scanner's getting low too. I should probably start using, well, it's gonna want me to charge the, I need to see, there was um, something I was scanning. What was that? It was a charger dealio. Habitat, was it in here? Planters and pots, solar panels, no. Equipment, radiation suit, repair tool, no. Vehicles. Dang it, man, I guess I'm gonna have to go back down there and do some more exploring. But at least now my inventory is much better. I don't even know if I need to take the propulsion cannon with me out if I'm gonna go get resources. It's kind of a large thing to be carrying. I think we'll drop it off. Give me a little bit more inventory space. Let's eat some food. Wow, look at that thermal blade. It's on fire, like literally. <laughs> That's so cool looking. All right, I think uh, we replanted that tree, so I'm good to go for eating either one of these, really. Wow, you can hear it like singeing. It should be like burnt bobo tree. All right, that sucker is gone. Zoom, zoom, and we'll replant this guy. The crop system here is actually kind of cool. I'm kind of digging this method. And I love that I have these in here now so I can just easily top off and just worry about taking food on expeditions now. Sleep is standing still. No, you're the one who said sleep. I said that something that nobody in the world is doing right now is, yeah, not moving. But what is what is the answer to your riddle? I'll bite. What's what's the other possibility that nobody that nobody is doing? All right, so we got two batteries, a stasis rifle, my sea glide. Nobody is in bed with you. Ah. Did you want someone to be in bed with you? you can get your cuddles on. Ah, yeah. One day, one day. All right, purple tablets, air bladder. I don't really use the air bladder anymore. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put it in the equipment box. I think my gizmo, my sea glide gets me to the surface just fine. 
Although I haven't tried pop, well you can't because you can't use both because you gotta hold them in your hands. So yeah, we'll put that away. That gives me a space. All right, laser cutter, thermal blade. Um, I don't really think I need to be carrying the laser cutter around with me, right? Cutting device suitable for penetrating standard titanium doors. Doesn't say anything about drilling things on the surface. I'm still wondering how I'm supposed to get those large nodes. Unless that's where the prawn comes in. Because the vehicle thing here for the prawn suit said it has strong hands. Powerful hydraulic limbs that allow for manipulation of objects and powered trans traversal of the environment. And I gotta look up the... Okay, so the prawn suit, I need to write down those ingredients. Let's go do that real quick. I think it needed those gel sac dealios. Um, which... Wait, that's the life pod. I need to move this. I wonder if I can like... Can I just like go underneath here and say, give me, give me a bat? Oh well, I guess I'll just deal with this right here. All right, so vehicles. What do we need here? Still don't know how to make a cyclops, which is essentially a huge ass submarine, from what I understand reading the text. Uh, oh, aerogel. So that's what we figured out how to do. We still don't know about enameled glass or plastic ingots. All right, so prawn, prostil ingots, and oops, did not like that when I clicked back into the game after making a note. And then the other thing in here was enameled glass. Enameled glass. Okay. So it's gonna be a while before I get that, and we're not worried about rockets yet. Until we fix the quarantine thing with the aliens. Alright, uh, let's see. There was... Let's check and see if there's a radio. Oh, no radio transmission, but they're probably still waiting for me to get my ass over to that other pod. So we'll do be doing that here in just a second. Alright, how are we on food and water in my inventory? We need some. Let's go get some, uh, get some bleeder dudes here real quick, do a lap around the base. Or, not bleeder dudes, bladder guys. Those guys, pink guys. Come here! And, um, let's see. Wild bio tube. Let's just get this since I have inventory space right now. Okay, nice. Ooh, hey, 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 I need that too. Here, bladder fish. So funny when they're hard to catch. It's just like, oh my gosh. So MST sins, where are you from? Oh, how are you supposed to say your name? Is it actually like Miss T sins? Like Misty sins? MST. Yep. Figured it out after the fact. <laughs> well, at least I figured it out now rather than never. Oh, there's one over here. Oh, where'd he go? I lost him. Oxygen. Swim to the surface. I wasn't watching my oxygen. For a change. I guess because I know I'm close to the surface right here. Uh, oh, there's one. Come, come here, dude. All right, nice. And, what's that one? Oh, that is one. Hello, come here. Uh, there we go, good job.
yeah. Got another one. I think I'm doing pretty good on bladder fish. Who's gonna fill up that whole damn equipment locker with uh, water? You lost your base? How'd you lose your base? I haven't had that happen to me yet. Is it lost like it's gone, or is it lost like you can't find out where it's at? Oh, the way they put waypoints in there, so it's probably not that. There's more salvage right here. My, my inventory is full. Okay, we'll go back. I missed out on that bladder fish. It's all right. Oh, you're playing as well? That's cool. Did you get confused with the noises from my stream and in your game? <laughs> I'm glad I can keep you company while you're playing. This seems like a pretty cool way to go about it. So as long as I stay away from the Reaper Leviathan, you'll be okay. You won't need your brown pants. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, we want to make up a sound water. What's this new advanced materials? Oh, it tells me that I can do air. Oh, that's my first advanced material. Oh, it takes gel sacks and rubies to make aerogel. Well, damn. I have to go back there and get more rubies. All right, let's make some water. Power does go down slightly whenever I use this, but it comes back up again. Alright, that's all the water right there. And yeah, okay. Knife time. Oh, that was smart. We need to actually drop some stuff. And we got a lot of coral tube samples ready to roll. And we'll throw some water. Gotta stop right clicking stuff. It's the wrong button. Alright, uh, actually, we'll take four of these. Well, go through water pretty quick. Okay, and now we got the salvage. What happened to that pancake person? Good question. You know what happened to the pancake person? So MST, where are you from? You're from Mars. Wow. Pretty good bandwidth you got there. Being able to partake of some Twitch streaming. Ooh, we can make a titanium ingot, but I don't think I need one of those right at the moment. So we'll just shove all of our titanium in here. Oops, not the battery, so we're going to keep those. I'm feeling a little bit better about my supply here. This is looking pretty good. Might get some more cave sulfur and some creepy seeds uh, here soon. But uh, yeah, this is looking pretty good. topped off. We still need to figure out prostil, ingots, enameled glass. We've got uh, the grow beds are going. I wonder how those look now. Do we already have stuff in them? Pick up marble melon. Looks like this is already done growing. That's cool. Alright, what happens if I um, pick it up? What's it gonna do? 
I hope it's not just one for one. I think it's one for one. Uh, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Or find... Hmm. I'm gonna have to figure that out. What's the point of doing that if you only get one? Wait a minute, is it even... It's not even acting like it's growing. It's already like... Oh, I guess. Uh, oh, there's the hat. Ha ha. Right click to get some seeds. There we go. Alright, now we're talking. There's four seeds now. And I guess the same thing happened over here. Use the planter. It's the. Okay. So, let me just, uh. No, nope, that one doesn't work like that. Oh, the tree is growing. Oops. Alright, let's not mess with the tree. But this says that it's done. Okay. So this one I can put that back in there. So we can pick off of that one and get multiple. So there we go. That whole thing is filled. I don't know if I'm going to keep this growing lantern tree. I might just put him in a pot. He might be like decoration. Oh no, you're being chased by a reaper. Good luck. Hide. Hide, hide, hide. Alright, I'm glad I got these little guys growing now. I'm glad I came down here to check on this. Okay. Um, I should put a window in here, man. I should put a window like right smack there so I can at least see something besides just walls in here. And I think I can make the glass. I think I have ports. Where's my habitat deal? Habitat Builder. Let's put that on, I guess, number one for right now. I want a... Uh, let's see, this is exterior stuff. Interior modules. It's not a module. But we could finally put a radio in here. Wall locker. No, I don't want that right now. Lock. Battery charger. I could use a battery charger. Ingredients unknown. Okay, and a power cell charger. Ingredients unknown. Oh, we gotta go find those. Wow, look at all the miscellaneous stuff that we could do here. Alright, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna deconstruct unwanted items and safety release their constituent atoms into the atmosphere. <laughs> that's cool. Prevents a whole bunch of stuff from being tied up under your base. This is item form. Vending machine. Counter, command chair, a swivel chair, desk, single bed. I'm gonna have to put a layer in here just to make my, uh, like a, uh, a bed desk, like a living area, instead of something that's just functional. Single wall shelf. Bar table. Alright, base pieces, window. I just need one glass. And I can put it right here. So let's uh, click and get some glass. Need quartz for that. Two quartz. And make a glass. And put in a window. Right? Oh, it didn't do it. A porthole for your habitat installed on an existing wall. Oh, hello. That looks way better than just uh, having a damn wall right there. I uh, can actually see blue. I don't get to see a whole bunch of stuff, but meh. It's kind of neat. All right, I wonder... So apparently I can just cut fish with the laser, or sorry, the thermo blade, and it cooks... It says it cooks in, for immediate consumption. That's gonna be a nice quality of life improvement, and I have these swim charge fins. Save my game here. 
All right, I got five waters, one cured peeper. Could probably use some salt. Uh, oops. Let's switch back to the damn stasis rifle on my number one. Do I have any salt in here? No, but we have gel sacks. Yes, we'll take one of the nutrient blocks just in case. Alright, we're about ready to roll out again. Alright, we're gonna go check out that distress signal. That's the plan. Let's go over here and get my uh, sea moth out. Online. Life pod 12. Sunk to the ocean bed. 1200 meters away, roughly. And if we can find some stuff on the way, we'll be good to go. Ah, oh, that's the red sand area. Or red grass. I think it would be cool shit whenever I get a submarine, like a legit sub. Have I been here? Can't remember. Is the damn sharks here? Yeah, the sharks are here. Yeah, I've been here, I think. Eight hundred meters, seven hundred meters, ish. <laughs> Six hundred meters. We're going through the weird area with the luminescent dudes. I haven't really done a lot of exploring through here. I don't really, it's not a really friendly area to cruise through with this vessel because I keep banging on stuff. What is this thing? Cyclops hole fragment. Maybe this is what I was missing. Uh, nope, we need three of those. Wow, okay, that's gonna... I guess we have to keep looking around. It's like playing a uh, scavenger hunt game. Maybe there's some more in this immediate area. I'm definitely gonna have to try out my knife at some point too and, and uh, kill a fish. Oh, cool, I didn't take damage that time. Great way to see where you are put the sea moth at the surface and jump on top of it, and you can see I have done that because I was like, Can I get on top of this? It is really nice to know where the hell you are. I have done that while I was looking for islands. Is this another one of these things I can't get? That looks pretty huge, whatever that is. What is this? Oh man, it's a huge thing of gold. What is the special equipment that's killing me? You know what, I'm gonna try the laser thing just for the hell of it because I thought it might have been this, but I don't know for sure. Nope, it doesn't say anything about getting minerals with this, so that's not it. It's a good try though. Uh, get the stasis rifle back in there. Alright, so... That's the island over there. Where's my marker for where I was headed? That's kind of interesting. Oh, there it is. So we'll continue this way. 
We're at 200 meters depth. Something's growling at me, trying to chew on me, probably. 227. We're gonna detour and go in this cave. Caves have been really good for resources for me. I totally dig into cave life. Talking about salt a moment ago. I guess I get to hear my swim fins at work. What keeps growling at me? Detecting volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Oh, that Exercise sounds great. Caution when diving deeper. More salt. All right, we're gonna try out this knife thing. New creature discovered. Is that awesome? It actually did cook it for real. At least it's close. Okay, good. Need that. And sandstone probably, yep. Alright, we're at 51 oxygen. What's down here? Cave? Cave continues. quiet whenever I'm caving because I'm like super focused. <laughs> I realize I do that. So these swim fins are supposed to charge my tool while I'm holding it. So if I keep my tool out but I uh, don't turn it on, I'm kind of curious. Hey, there's actually the uh, brain thing right here. Sweet. I totally didn't see that one there. Oh, it is charging my thing. Now it's 3%. Alright, so what else we got in here? Shell outcrop, nice. We're gonna save our game because you never know.
more creature eggs. A lot of creature eggs down here. At least we got an oxygen source right here. This is gonna save my bacon. A spotted, spotted duck. Oh, I already know. I already got that in my log. Okay. Something obvious here. Maybe I came in underneath this all. Maybe I came in right here. I know it was on the same side of the damn wall as the, um, yeah, this is where I came in because that goes around in a circle. These electric fins are actually pretty dope. Welcome aboard, Captain. Three creature eggs we're holding on to at the moment. <laughs> All the things to hold on to. Uh, wow, look at this thing. It's like a big freaking underwater dandelion. Top. What is this? Giant bulb bush. Oh shit. That's volcanic activity right there. It did tell me to be careful. There's a whole freaking vent chasm thing right there. That is cool. Very cool. More big mineral sources I can't do anything with. Sad day. I wonder if this is a new coral tube. Got some lead. Common bull bush, okay. What's this? Oh, big thing of titanium, okay. Anything else to scan right in here? Doesn't look like it. Um, enter the sea monsters. salt. We'll grab that. What's this? A creature egg. Is that a big creature egg? Yeah, that is a big creature egg. That's a two by two creature egg. Uh, let's drink some more water. With one spot. I guess I better go check out the uh, pod thing before... Did I have a beacon with me? Maybe I want to mark that vent location. Oh, nope, I must have forgot to get it back out. That's okay, though. 